But you know what opposition is? It's good and positive. Now, now I'm not going to just say that on my own. I'm saying that now to the guys of the Holy Spirit. It's good and it's positive because it, it, it helps you and it helps me to have a good ear tuned into the voice of God. Because when Satan does so much to us now, at some point, it's like, God, you've got to say something. And when you need a word from God, and when you need to know if God is understanding what's going on, you can shut the world out, and we can, and, 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 and before you know it, you're going, God, I'm, I'm listening to you. And sometimes we say, I don't think God's talking, Pastor. He, he is talking, but he can't get past, he can't get past your social media, he can't get past your Facebook news. You look, you're reading and looking more at that than you are tuning into him. And because God speaks sometimes in a still, small voice, we are encouraged to shut the world out okay just shut the world out for a minute shut it out we need to hear God's voice also through his word that's why I teach the word on Sunday morning and I say I that's why we all pastors teach the word of God if somebody's not teaching the word of God then okay get out of there but wherever God sends you there ought to be a word of God that's being taught how do you know run it through your own life God can cause all that persecution, all those problems, all that opposition to work together for your good. What does your good mean? Your good is that you are conformed to the image of Christ. He can cause it to be all worked out for your good. The Bible says that we know all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, right? So all of that, God says, I can cause that to, to work out, to help form you into a Christ-like person. Uh, an anointed person. 